Now when Jesus knew that the Pharisees had heard that he was winning and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself was not baptizing, but his disciples were, he left Judea and set out once more for Galilee. But he had to pass through Samaria. Now he came to a Samaritan town called Sychar, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. So Jesus, since he was tired from the journey, sat right down beside the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me some water to drink. For his disciples had gone off into the town to buy supplies. So the Samaritan woman said to him, how can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for water to drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you had known the gift of God, and who it is who said to you, Give me some water to drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said to him, You have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where then do you get this living water? Surely, you're not greater than our ancestor Jacob, are you? For he gave us this well and drank from it himself, along with his sons and his livestock. Jesus replied, Everyone who drinks some of this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks some of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. But the water that I will give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I will not be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. He said to her, Go call your husband and come back here. The woman replied, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, Right you are when you said I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the man you are living with now is not your husband. This you said truthfully. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. <laughs> 